Hi, now in this video, we are going to talk about mapping. Mapping data type in Solidity deals with keys and values. So whenever you have to define a mapping in Solidity, this is how you define mapping. So you have your mapping from key to value. This key is nothing but the data type of your key. And this value is data type of your value. So let's say I want to store information of students. Let's say I want to store the name of students. And for every name that I'm going to store, I'm going to map it with their roll number. So in this case, this is how I will declare my mapping. So first of all, we will be having the data type of the roll number, which will be UINT, right? Because roll number are numeric values. Then we will have string data type because we are going to store the name of students, right? So that's why string data type. So this mapping is from UINT to string and this is public. So definitely it is optional. And then we have this variable and this is how it will look in our memory. So we will have a mapping. Okay. So I'm just showing that UINT type role number we are going to store and string data type name we are going to store. So in this, we are going to store information like this. So we will have roll number, which is let's say one, five, 40, 50. And for every roll number, we are actually mapping it with their name. So one is mapped to Ravi, five mapped to John, 40 mapped to Alice and so on. So this is how we are going to use this particular mapping where you can clearly see this UINT are these values. So these are the keys and string are these names and these are the values. Now let us see this on our Remix ID. So let us create mapping. And this mapping will be from UINT to string. Okay, sorry for that. String, right? And let me make this public and data. Now to insert some values inside this mapping, first of all, let me name the function as insert UINT role number and string memory name. Okay. And then it will be public function, curly braces. Now, in case of mapping, just like we insert values in an array, right? In the same way, we insert values in a mapping. So data type is like, this is the variable, right? Data. So I will use this data variable. I will have my roll number inside it because this is the key, right? And then I will have my name like this, which is actually the value. And in this way, we can insert values inside mapping. So just like your array, right? So this is similar to your array, right? The only thing is that in this case, we write index value and then the value, right? The element, uh, the data type of that, the element that we want to insert. Now, let's say if I want to return from the mapping, so I will have return, or let's say getter function. And this, I will pass the roll number and then public view returns. And the value that we are going to return will be string value right because the values are of string data type so in this we will have string memory okay and then i will do return data and then the roll number so this is how it will return us with the name of that particular roll number so the roll number that we have the name that we have mapped with this roll number so let me deploy this i will click on deploy now we have insert data and get a function so let me insert some value. Okay. So roll number, let's say is 10 and let's say Raj is stored at roll number 10. So transact, let's say at hundredth roll number, we have something like Rina. So transact and let's say at 1000th of roll number, definitely <laughs> it is not very much a possibility having a roll number like that, but let's say, so we have, let's say max and then we can transact. Okay. Now let's say I want to get the value so either I can use this data variable because this is a public variable. So it is accessible to us or otherwise we can use this getter function as well. So let me use my getter function because I have created it from scratch. So let's do that. And let's say I want to find the details of rule number 10. I will call. So now you can see that it has written this Raj. If I will have 100 and call Rina and in the same way, sorry for that Rina here. And then in the same way, when we have 1000 and I will call it again, you can clearly see it is max, right? So this is how you use mapping inside Solidity. If you have liked this video, please click on that like button. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe to this channel because I'm regularly going to upload new blockchain courses on this channel. So meet you soon in the next video. 
Till then, take care. Bye-bye. And do not forget, if you have any doubts, please comment below. Okay?